दे व्हाट्सअप एवरीबाडी दिस इज योर न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट ऑन द गो कवलदीप सिंह औचला फ्रॉम इरुडाई न्यूट्रिशन आई हैव मेड दिस वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो फॉर स्पेसिफिकली दोज पीपल हु आर केयर गिवर्स टू अ पेशेंट हु इज गेटिंग देयर न्यूट्रिशन वाया एन जी ट्यूब अ नेजोगैस्ट्रिक ट्यूब इट कैन बी फ्रॉम एन ओर रूट और अ नेजल रूट अ पाइप which has been inserted through a nasal or mouth opening up to their stomach so this type of ng tube feeding is usually recommended to patients who cannot eat who cannot chew who cannot swallow their food on their own or they have an obstruction in their mouth or in their in their uh, throats due to which it is hard for them to swallow any type of solid food so by the help of ng feeding ng tube feeding we can give a patient a good amount of nutrition which in other cases he is unable to have so people who suffer from accident who are in unconscious state who are in a coma state uh, ng nutritional feeding is the best protocol for them so this is why i have made this video because sometimes it is hard to explain how you have to prepare a feed and give it to a patient so it is hard for the caregiver to understand it so this is for all the new caregivers uh, who encounter their patient with an ng feed so i have made this video in my own kitchen and uh, i have made two types of feed one is a lentil dal feed and the other one is a porridge uh, feed which has some amounts of vegetables and egg in the meal so we will prepare that meal and you can see the video so first of all to prepare an ng feed we need a blender and we are taking some porridge it is cooked in water and vegetables included so i am going to take a few spoons of porridge you you might need to take more quantity one whole bowl we will dilute it water or coconut water or chicken broth vegetable soup vegetable juice and then we are going to blend it so once the blending process is complete now we have to sieve it off with a filter so i have a bigger filter you can use a tea filter or a muslin cloth whichever you feel fine to filter out the solid particles we will use this technique that you are seeing with the help of a spoon or a spatula we will remove the solid particles that have not been fine grounded and we will let the liquid seep in our bottom cup which will actually be our feed we do not want any solid particles to be going into our ng feed tube so this is how we have to do it the material that is left you can again reblend it i have a smaller blender so you can have a bigger blender so this is the consistency that we have to achieve so now this is the second feed that i'm going to prepare with the dal you can use any dal for it the procedure is same we will dilute it with some water you can have some extra water in your dal or you can add a chicken stock or a bone broth anything you can add into it and we are going to blend it so i have a smaller blender if you have a bigger blender and more powerful one the feed making process will be more efficient we are going to repeat the same steps here also with the help of a sieve we are going to sieve out all the solid particles and let the clear liquid be collected in a cup or a container below so this is the process of preparing an ng feed so we will separate out the solid particles and use the liquid so let's see the consistency of this feed it is very liquid which is easy to be used as feed now you can add in flax oil coconut oil olive oil even desi ghee or homemade butter along with it if you are prescribed any supplement by the dietitian or the doctor you can add that supplement into your feed also you can also add some boiled egg 
If you are adding a boiled egg, then you have to reuse the blender to mash it together with the feed and you might have to dilute it a little bit also. We have to check the consistency also. So sorry for the mess that I have created. But since I was doing it in a hurry to show you guys. So this is how both your feeds are prepared. A vegetable porridge feed and a dal feed. Chicken soup or any other egg soup it can be prepared in the same manner so you can use the oils you can use the supplement and you're good to go so folks this was how you can prepare an ng feed for your patient and you can give them the optimum the best amount of nutrition which otherwise is not possible for them maybe because of a stroke or a, or a cardiovascular accident or facial palsy or a stroke where it affects on the tongue of the patient on the tongue muscles so if the patient can swallow this is how you have to feed your patient so one request i want to make to all the caregivers who have such type of patients please do not repeatedly ask or force the doctor or the hospital staff to remove the ng tube i agree that it is uncomfortable for the patient and for you also for the caregivers also it is an uncomfortable situation for the patient but the amount of nutrition that can be given through an NG cannot be ingested by your patient. So taking the situation into consideration, if the doctor recommends an NG feed, please happily do accept it. If you have any doubts about NG feeding, clarify it with your dietitian, clarify it with your doctor. So at last, I would request to please share this video with all those caregivers, all those attendants of such patients who are receiving an NG feed. Okay, so this will help uh, the new ones, especially that how to prepare and how to give a feed. Also, if you ever feel like that your patient who is receiving an NG feed, he might need a revised diet plan. You guys can contact me. You can come to my hospital. You can see me. You can contact me on phone or you can also contact me online. So I will try my best to analyze and read the patient reports and the history of the patient and the diagnose. And I will suggest the best nasogastric feed that your patient can get so that your patient gets well and healthy and recovers from whatever disease or injury that they have suffered. So I also request all the medical professionals, uh, people who are working in hospitals at any level, if you ever encounter anyone uh, who has to be a caregiver for a patient with an NG tube, please recommend this video to them. It will be a great help. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.